Hello everybody and welcome to part 9 of what if Izuku Midoriya found the Omnitrix. If you haven't seen the previous parts yet, make sure to do so as it provides more context for this episode. There'll be a link in the description below and the annotation above. If you aren't subscribed, if, please consider subscribing if you aren't already and if you enjoyed the video and wanted to see the series continue, make sure to Oklahoma smash that like button. Midoriya looks at Vilgex in a bit of terror as, as Vilgex towers over Midoriya. Midoriya turns into Echo Echo and splits up using his sonic screams at Vilgax. Vilgax doesn't even flinch at the attack. Midoriya switches into Diamond Hand and tries to attack Vilgax. Vilgax dodges the attack and grabs Midoriya by the throat. He hits the Omnitrix, turning Midoriya into, into his human form. Grabs something and um, something from um, from his back, putting it on the Omnitrix, blocking the Midoriya's use of it. A spaceship then uncloaks and a shuttle comes down from the ship. Vilgax throws Midoriya into the shuttle and then goes into it himself. He, the throw was so strong that Midoriya is knocked on conscience since he fell on his head. All for one asks through a monitor, Did you get the boy? Vilgax says, Yes, and once I have retrieved the Omnitrix from him, I will honor our deal. The planet will be yours. The universe, mine. Vilgax arrives in the ship, cloaking it again, as it disappears into the night sky. Max sends a communication. Alert! Vilgax has been uh, found breaching intergalactic law on Earth. He has sent an invasion force to Earth and captured the wielder of the Omnitrix, requesting backup. On the other line, someone says, Backup re request received and accepted. Dispatching now. In the ship, Vilga Vilgax straps Midoriya to a probing table, thing like what what Ben was in, um, in the in the end of the first season of the first show. Midoriya wakes up and says, "Who who are you? Why am I here? What do you want from me?" Siphon says, "He is Vilgax, conqueror of ten worlds. He is." Vilgax interrupts and saying, "Silence, Siphon. I can speak for myself." Siphon says, sorry sire, and bows, bows and walks away. Vilgax says, I am Vilgax. Both you and I are here because of that thing. Because of the Omnitrix, the most powerful weapon in the known universe. You see, I've been looking for that device for a long time. Just imagine, a whole army armed with the power of the Omnitrix, all under my control. And before the next rotation of your little star, it will be mine. And I will be the w one step closer to achieving my goal. Midoriya says, good luck getting it out. And how do you even plan to take, take it? It and I are quite attached at this point. As blades come up from the ground of the ship, Vilgax says, oh, I'm sure something can be arranged. Midoriya says, and what are these restraints supposed to do? Vilgax answers. They're supposed to block the use of the Omnitrix. Midoriya tries to transform using his mind since he kind of unlocked Master Control previously, getting electrocuted. Vilgax says, just like that. Vilgax grabs a plasma sword and is about to cut Midoriya's arm off when something happens. A plumber spacecraft crashes through the hull of the ship, hitting Vilgax. Vilgax pushes, pushes the ship off him and gets back to, to and walks towards Midoriya to take the Omnitrix. As Vilgax approaches Midoriya, he is hit by some pink energy bolts, along with some orange energy bullets that come out of the dust created by the ship crashing. Rook Blanco comes out of the ship, di disabling Midor trying to, to disable Midoriya's restraints. Rook says, like he's kind of using the laser. Uh, on the restraints. I'll have you out of the restraints in no time. Don't worry about this, sir. Rue starts using the pro tool to cut the restraints. After five seconds, the restraints open up. Ben Tennyson stands at the console saying, You know, Rook, it's much easier using the controls to disable the restraints than cutting through a titanium and plasma restraint. They're quite durable. Midoriya jumping off the platform says, Thanks for the help, but who are you guys? Ben answers, no problem, dude. Happy to help. And to answer your question, I'm Ben Tennyson, the one Q 
Keeping Vilgax busy is my cousin Gwen and this is my friend Rook. Our friends on the ship. Um, we're plumber cadets coming back from from the, the training facility for kind of a vacation of sorts when we kind of received a distress signal. But it's at this point that Bilgax grabs Gwen and throws her at Ben, hitting them both down. Midoriya activates the Trix and says, Rook, was it? Please get them to safety. Get them out of here. I'll deal with Bilgax. And it turns into a uh, diamond head, shoots projectiles at Bilgax. Switches to accelerate, rushing at him. Switches to humongous at the moment of impact for maximum damage. Rook gets Gwen and Ben in the ship and says, Levin, please get us out of uh, please get us down to the planet's surface before we reach the upper atmosphere. The plumber's ship leaves. Vilkax's ship um, leaves Vilkax's si ship creating a vacuum that starts sucking everything out, including many drones and even Siphon who falls out. The ship's emergency systems kick in and it kind of creates a plasma thing fixing the hole. Um, what well, attempts to repair itself. Vilgax gets up after Midoriya's attack and goes in for a punch. Midoriya switches to Big Chill, the punch, the punch going through him, freezing Vilgax's arm. Midoriya says, Ha! Cool! He freezes Vilgax in place. Vilgax frees himself pretty easily. Vilgax says, None of your little transformations or tricks will do anything to me, child. If you keep the rapid transformations up, you will overload the Omnitrix's core. And you can't defeat me. You really think you can defeat me? Midoriya uses... Uh, Midoriya says, maybe with my current strategy not, but I can do something better. He turns into Dr Diamond Head again, restraining Vilgax's legs into in place. He then turns into forearms and starts punching Vilgax. Midoriya turns into Spitter and uses him to propel Vilgax against the wall. He then keeps up the attack and Vilgax eventually passes through the plasma propelling himself like Vilgax passes through the plasma and Ben manages to propel Spitter uh, to propel Vilgax using Spitter into space. Midoriya turns into upgrades, goes to the control panel and goes into it, setting the self-destruct sequence to blow up the ship. He then turns into Jet Ray and flies away before the ship explodes, landing safely on the ground in Hosu, just in time to see the fireworks. In this case, I mean Vilgax's ship blowing up. Midoriya is congratulated by the plumbers for a job well done. In another location, one that isn't really known to us, all for one is told by Shigaraki. Our ally seems to have been defeated, Master, by the boy with the watch. All for one smiles and says, Well, I expected Vilgax to put up more of a fight, maybe even take down All Might or something, but it's not a problem. All for one looks at a monitor seeing a warehouse full of alien technology. He then continues speaking. It seems to have helped enough. We have enough supplies now. Plus, you'll probably be back. Doctor, have you prepared the chamber? Duramu, the do all for one's doctor, says, um, I'm on it right now, sir. With the tech, we should be able to have you fixed up in no time. I hope you all enjoyed the episode. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you aren't already, as it always helps the channel. The like helps to tell me that you want more in this series. Make sure to leave any suggestions you guys want in the comments. And until next time, have a nice day, everyone.